so I decided I was going to make this video not because of what just happened, but because I I wanted to make this video for a long time. Uh, and I just didn't know how to word it, and I just didn't know what to say, I didn't know how to begin it, I didn't know how to end it, and I was too scared of what you guys was going to think and say and do, I didn't know any of my friends, I didn't know any other YouTubers, if they really care, if to be honest. Um, yeah, so something happened. I assume everybody knows by now that uh, Robin Williams passed away and it sucks. It really does. Um, he was a huge iconic person uh, of my childhood. Um, he was basically in almost every great film, let's be honest, he was just in every great film. Um, Jumanji was, my god, one of my favorite films growing up. Mrs. Doubtfire, hilarious. Aladdin, amazing. Night in the Museum, uh, Flubber. <sighs> He's just been in so much. Um, and always made me laugh, always made me happy. And um, yeah, that's that's what I wanted to say. The, the word happy. Um, he wasn't. He wasn't happy. He was depressed. And he committed suicide. And the reason why... I wanted to, uh, I don't really want to say it now, now that I've said, I don't want to open it. I kind of, I'm trying to find the way to word this. Um, I wasn't going to make this video, not, and I wasn't going to make this video now, be, I wasn't going to make this video now because of what happened. Um, I just saw, like, a couple of my friends upload, such as Fear Razor, talk about depression, and a bunch of other people, uh, uploading their own opinions on the whole Robin Williams thing. Uh, about depression, and um, I thought I might as well kind of talk about stuff that sort of happened to me recently, I guess. Um, I keep saying um. I've noticed that in every single video I do, I keep saying um. I'm, I would apologize, but I can't seem to stop saying um, so y'all are right. Uh, yeah, so it sucks. It really sucks about the whole Robin Williams thing. Um, really sad about that. But it's just, I think I, I think this video was coming because, like, I wanted to make this video, and with the whole Robin Williams committed suicide because of depression, it's like, it's like it made me realize, okay, now I need to make this video. Obviously, I'm not just making this video just to, whatever. But like, I didn't want to make this video. But then after seeing what happened. I don't know, just wanted to just kind of voice stuff, I guess. It's just me talking, having fun, and it's about to get deep. About to get real deep. So hold on to your hats if you're wearing any. If you're wearing a hat, good for you. Um, uh, take your socks off. Your feet might get wet. Why did I say that? Why did I just... I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, so this is just me talking to a microphone right now. I'm probably not going to cut this up um, unless... I accidentally mentioned something that I really shouldn't have, and then, then I'll cut it up, but you guys probably won't tell. Uh, why am I saying that right now? Oh, uh, so yeah, so, a couple of years ago, before I did YouTube, uh, I was, I finished, uni oh no, I didn't, I finished, uh, school, secondary school, um, and I don't, I can't remember how it happened, I just know I was in a really bad state, um, I was in college, uh, because there's, in, it's different to explain in England to America, because I know, like, 80% of my audience is in America, but, like, in England, when you finish secondary school, which is just, I think, high school, middle school for you guys, I, like, I'm gonna say from the in England point of view. Secondary school, you go to college, and then college, you go to university. I've completely finished all of that now. I finished education right at this point, um, but, okay, so I'm going back to where I was in college, and the first year of college, I think this was back in, like, 2010, I was about... I think I was 17 years old, and, um, I don't know why, but I just, like, every single day seemed to be, just got harder and harder, and I don't remember why, and I don't remember how I got to that point, because it was such a long time ago, but I just remember I was sad, 
and uh, yeah, I was depressed, and I was too scared to talk to anyone about it, and I didn't want to do anything about it, and well, I did do one. I did want to do something about it, obviously, because I just hated life so much. Um, I think it was, I think everything was changing in my life. Like I know my parents at the time were going through a divorce, and uh, I didn't get into secondary school sixth form because you could take like you can continue doing secondary school and um, like do two years of like grown up side of secondary school. I didn't get into that, and then I got into college, uh, studying TV and video production, and I didn't get to what I wanted. And my parents were going through a divorce, and uh, I wasn't with my friends anymore because I had to go to a new college. Like everything around me was just new, and I don't I don't like change. I'm I'm uh, definitely against the idea of change. Um, I like I like everybody to be the same. I like the place to be the same. I'd like everything to be normal. Um, change is not normal, and I don't know. I I think that's what I could remember. I think there was other stuff going on in my life. I just can't remember, and I was just I was very I was in a bad state. Uh, this was like four years ago. And you're probably wondering, Gizzy, why are you talking about this? Uh, well, uh, the reason why uh talk about this is because four years ago, that's t sort of when I was doing YouTube. When I started up, I didn't have anywhere else to go. And so uh, I was playing RuneScape at the time, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to escape. Um, I never, I don't know if I ever thought about committed suicide. I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Um, I know I was in a bad state a while ago. And, um, yeah, now it's, now it's getting deep guys, but it's going to be, it's going to get deeper. So, uh, keep listening. Basically, um, I'm trying to keep this lively and fun as I can, but truthfully, this is not the conversation to do that. Um, I keep saying, um, I keep, I keep, <sighs> uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't think about committing suicide. I was, I, I don't think I would have. If I did, then I definitely probably would have got help. I think I definitely, I can, I'm pretty sure of that. Um, and that was when I was doing YouTube, back to the conversation when I was talking about YouTube. Yeah, at the time I was doing YouTube and I'm pretty sure uh, making YouTube videos, I was doing like RuneScape machinima, like comedy skits, like inside the RuneScape video game. Uh, sort of like Exploding TNT's Minecraft videos, if you ever watch those, where like, it's like Minecraft Machinimas or like Crafted Movie, but I did that in RuneScape. Uh, this was like years before Exploding TNT was a thing as well and Crafted Movie, which was... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, God, that was rude. I'm not even cut this out. Wow, I'm gross. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, so I did that in RuneScape, and it was fun because um, it was nice escape. Like, I wasn't thinking about other stuff. I made some great friends online, um, and I realized what I was enjoying, and it was making it was fun like something i was studying tv and video i took that into youtube realized how fun it was and i did it and uh it was great it was fun it was good it was cool it was fun and i started people to get an audience and i was happy like i think youtube saved me um because i don't know if i would have i don't know if i ever did youtube i probably i don't know if i ever would have gotten over the depression and then i don't know what i would have thought so, in a corny way of saying it, I think probably YouTube saved me. I don't really want to say that though, because I know it's like really corny and lame of me to say it, but I was in a pretty bad state. I don't know if it was clinical, clinic, clinical depression, De clinical depression. That's, is that the word? I think that's the word. Yeah, so I'm not sure if that was it, because I just, I didn't know how it felt and I didn't know what to do and I didn't talk to anyone and so many people were going through problems around me and I didn't want to I didn't want the attention, I didn't want people to bother me. I guess that's sort of bad. But uh, the reason why I'm talking about this now, uh, something that happened four years ago, uh, and why I mention it now, there's the reason why I was thinking about making this video was because uh, I always fear it will come back, that feeling. And there's a lot of stuff going on in my life right now that is just kind of eating at me. And... I think I've been slipping in and out of depression every now and then. Like one day I'd be very happy and then the next day I just would want to stay in bed and just don't want to talk to anyone. I just keep thinking about stuff spinning around in my head. My head would just hurt just because I'm thinking of really bad stuff. Um, and I just, I get this paranoia problem too. Um, I don't know if it's like a problem or anything, but like I just, like I get paranoid like really easily and it's really, it's bad. I re it's 
which doesn't help the depression either. And I was in a bad state four years ago, and I'm worried it's uh, it's coming back. Um, like, I don't know. That's what like, I don't know really where else to go with this now. <sighs> um. Um. Yeah. Uh. Do I, do I really want to go through current problems in my life? Do you really care? Uh, if you do care, great, thank you, because like I said, YouTube probably saved me, and at the point where I am now, um, you guys, well, you guys have just been amazing, you guys have just been fantastic, 2014 has been a fantastic year, thank you, uh, everybody so much for subscribing, for liking my videos, for watching my videos, for commenting, uh, just for being there, for being on social media, for being the wonderful, uh, bunch of people that a stupid British depressed kid could ask for. Uh, so thank you. You guys are great. And uh, I know a lot of my god, well, quote unquote friends, because I don't even know what's going on right now with everyone, but I can guarantee they're just like talking bad about me like right now, saying like, oh, Gizzy's just using Robert Williams' death as to talk about himself. Well, no. It's, no, not, not at all. I just... No, I just, I don't want to do that at all. Like, I'm deeply upset about what happened. And I wanted to talk about what happened to me in related to what happened. I'm not taking this as advantage. I wanted to do this video for a while. It's just now I think it's a good time after what happened. So what I also want to say before I end this video, um, well, actually, before I end the video, I, I will say what's going on. My dad is about to go... Uh, into surgery, which is always fun. Uh, I finished university, which is great, but then I moved away from all of my friends, basically, and to move back in with mum, uh, living with people I don't really want to live with because uh, I'm not too close with my family, and I feel like I'm stuck in a room in the middle of nowhere because uh, I'm living in a town called Malmesbury, literally in the middle of nowhere, and I'm a city guy. I like to be where it's happening, and so I feel like I feel isolated and, and alone, and I've also got family problems going on. I've been trying to find my own place. Uh, and it just, uh, it's kind of bums me out seeing all my friends uh, having great adventures and uh, great times. Like, they're all moving. They're having a great time. Good for them. Happy for them. Uh, it's not for me. I wouldn't want to move, like, across the country because, well, across the world. That ain't my lifestyle. I don't want to do that. Uh, but I'm happy for them. And don't get me wrong. I'm happy for my friends. Uh, they're getting on with their life. Good for them you know as for me uh you know i just want my own place um i want to be happy and i don't want to be alone so uh there's that and yes yeah, so my dad's going through surgery so hopefully he'll be fine with that well obviously i hope that and um a bunch of money problems that i don't really want to get into either so haha <laughs> just a lot of stuff building up i guess right now during this time uh the last I say last month, last couple of months. It ain't been fun. It ain't been pretty. It ain't been good. So, um, yeah, I just, I'm kind of worried it's coming back. So I've been trying to keep myself happy, but every time I hop on the internet, I get sad. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't make me sad because it's what I do. Um, it's my job to be on the internet and it doesn't work uh, if I'm going to be sad on the internet. See, what I love about traveling, one of my hobbies is traveling, I love just traveling the world, is that it's, like, like four years ago, I used the game RuneScape to escape, so I didn't have to think about anything, I felt like I was in the game, I was just, just, it felt, it felt nice, and I was doing, making YouTube videos just because it was nice, but, um, I think I've grown up now, and I can't use that anymore, I can't just jump into a game and escape, because, I've grown up. I'm not that 16, 17 year old kid anymore. I'm 21. I've, I do this for a living now. Like it wasn't just for fun. It was just for a game. Sure it is still now for fun. Don't be get wrong. I love doing this. It's just, I can't just jump in a game and escape anymore. So I like to travel and escape. Like I just want to, I call it a pl I went to a, like Italy. I want to go to Italy. I'd love to go to Italy. God, that's one of my next places I want to go. No, but I mean like I just, I just I would just jump on a train and just visit like I don't know Manchester if I wanted to just because if if it just got too much then I'll just jump on a plane and 
just go somewhere or jump on a train, jump on a boat, jump on a bike, jump on a bus. Uh, just because I love it. I love traveling and I don't like depression. So obviously, um, yeah, so I think that's about it for this video. Uh, if, oh, there's one, one little thing. If you're going through depression, um, I know what it feels like. So, uh, a thing I, I think I can regret something that happened 10 years ago is that I didn't tell anyone about it. Please make sure you tell people about it. Um, I wouldn't say what cured my depression because I honestly I never felt like it ever went away I just felt like it just got very small um uh I made a lot of good friends in college uh, as well so um just be with people always be with people um and try to find people that care about you and I know it's hard to find those people because I've gone through so many friends and I just I don't know if they're ever using me or just I don't know I feel like a rambled on for way too much now so I feel like I need to go but make sure if you're you are depressed just talk to someone anyone um, and just remember that you're not alone so I guess that's what I can say and don't do anything stupid obviously because you know if I never if let, it's hypothetically if I did do something back in 2010 then I wouldn't be where I am now I finished university I've got a degree uh, almost half a million subscribers and I'm happy but as of right now I don't know if I'm truly happy and I guess I'll end it like that so thank you so much everybody for watching uh, if you have made it through this far you are a, truthfully technically a lifesaver actually um, so yeah thanks thanks for being there for me I guess I could say and I will um, I don't know, I guess I'll end this video now, so thanks for watching guys. Uh, heavy video, a little bit, so next video I will be fun and lovely and happy. I use happiness as a disguise as well, which I probably shouldn't do. I should be true to my emotions. But anyways guys, thanks for watching, see you later.